It's like the movie stuff. I feel like Cinderella. You know, it's it's one of the most elegant uh, nights in uh, in the whole industry. Uh, New York is just lit up by by this incredible event to celebrate a genius in, in our industry. The genius being celebrated by the Metropolitan Museum of Art's Costume Institute was that of Alexander McQueen. Hollywood heavyweights mingled with the fashion elite on the red carpet and all paid tribute to the late British designer. Oh my God. I miss him. I think he was, he's a, he was a brilliant designer and very provocative and creative, perfect balance of both. And I think that the fashion world is really missing that right now. He showed how to be beyond any uh, fashion imagination in a way, you know, in, with his very own vision. Uh, and that's what made him really like spectacular in what, what he, he did, you know. Great designer, really quite tragic the loss of him. It was nice to have a little bit of an edge and a, a rebel and a real strong point of view. And, um, you know, it's nice that they're honoring him tonight. His legacy, this is just the beginning. And he would be very happy for this to be happening tonight. The exhibition inside, entitled Savage Beauty, examined the work of Lee Alexander McQueen, who is one of the fashion world's most acclaimed and provocative talents. The show's really um, based around McQueen's engagement with um, 19th century romanticism. Um, I always felt that McQueen's life and his fashions unfolded like a, a Byronic sort of poem. Um, so, and he was deeply romantic in, in the Byronic sense of the word. The themes of the exhibition are uh, structured around recurring themes in McQueen's work, but themes that also were very prevalent to the romantic movement. Um, so things like nature, um, exoticism, primitivism, nationalism. And these are all themes that McQueen um, would engage with deeply throughout his career, but were also reflected um, by artists and writers of the 19th century romantic movement. This gallery is primarily looking at McQueen's um, methods of cut and construction. He was an extraordinary craftsman and he trained on Savile Row and so knew the skills of his trade um, very well. And I think because he knew them so intimately, he was able to subvert them and upend those, th those um, details. And I think what's interesting about his tailoring is how he was able to, in a way, combine the rigors of tailoring with the spontaneity and playfulness of dressmaking, which you see in this particular piece behind us with the hard shoulder, the nipped in waist, but then the deconstructed skirt. And I think it's because he knew how to make clothes um, so, so intimately that he was able to subvert those practices. You're very conscious of, um, of showing a legacy um, that is true to, to, true to him and true to who he was as a designer. And luckily, um, because all of, all of his team um, are still um, together, we were able to work with people like Sarah Burton. So it was great having access to Sarah to find out about McQueen's design process. So just in our conversations, um, I learned so much about how McQueen would construct a collection and how his fashions came together. Sarah Burton, currently at the helm of the label, was on hand to talk about her experience working with McQueen. When I walked into the exhibition, I thought of Lee. The emotion, passion, and attention to detail he had for everything that he did. The Sunday that he walked along the beach at Fairlight and came to work on the Monday morning with bags full of razor clam shells. The studio smelt like the sea. I'm very proud and honored to have worked for him. He truly was a genius. Collection after collection, McQueen always knew how to put on a show, and everyone has a favorite McQueen moment. One of my favorite collections um, was a, a show called Number 13, which ended with, with, with Shalom Harlow rotating on a turntable with these robotic, or this robot spray painting her, and that was the first collection I went to. A dress which was all red bugle beads going into a mask, which is extraordinary. A moment when he did all like the feathers, painted feathers, so all the bright, beautiful colors like reds, yellows, greens, and blues. I thought it was pretty amazing. Obviously, the the Kate hologram, and which they reproduced so beautifully on that reduced scale, it's miraculous. That was really special. But I mean, it was just one visceral experience after another. Really phenomenal. I 
think that he would often tap into our our fears, our hopes, our desires, and would reflect them in his fashions. And the fact that he would also challenge um, normative conventions of beauty. You know, McQueen was very much about um, looking at alternative notions of beauty, um, distinction or difference. And I think he would up upend and challenge our, our expectations of, of beauty.